A Jefferson County woman is making sure animals stay in homes and off the streets, but she's not doing it alone. For this month's Everything Woman, meet Sharon Blankenship. We can all agree with this little man when it comes to getting shots. It's not fun, but definitely necessary. For these pups and kittens, vaccination events like this help keep them in homes and off of the streets or in a shelter. A goal Sharon Blankenship is working towards every day. Jefferson County had no low cost, no cost spay and neuter programs um, and vaccination clinics for people that had pets. So our object is to try to keep pets in their homes and have them be provided a degree of basic well care, which is where the vaccination clinics come in. Sharon is no stranger to helping pets in the county. In 2019, she moved to Jefferson County from Lansing, Kansas, and when she got here, she realized the county was plagued with stray and feral cats. She tried to figure out how to get the problem under control through a trap, neuter, and vaccination program, but it wasn't that easy. And found out that Jefferson County didn't have any such programs. She made many calls before finally getting somewhere with K-State. With their help and the Topeka Community <laughs> Cat Fix, they were able to spay and neuter 150 15 cats. From there, I was very interested, and Topeka Community Cat Fix was very interested in teaching me how to start my own program. From that one experience, Sharon was hooked. In 2020, Positively was formed. It's the county's trap, neuter, vaccinate, and return organization. I'm getting kind of busy at the last minute. But this event isn't a Positively one. It's actually a different nonprofit Sharon runs named Jefferson County Pet Project. Sharon knew K-State was wanting to start a project to try and help pet owners who can't afford vet care. But her leaving Positively happened earlier than expected. I actually left last year. My husband passed away last August. Sharon says even though her husband Mike didn't like cats, he supported her no matter what. He helped return the cats once it was time to go back and even wash the traps in a pretty interesting way. He would take the cat traps on a flatbed trailer to the car wash and wash them out, but he was not going to do anything as far as the cats go. I love cats. <laughs> this is one of many great memories of her husband, but when he died, she just couldn't be 100% all in without thinking of Mike each day. I just was having a hard time functioning every day. I mean, it wasn't just positively. I just really didn't feel like doing much else, didn't really care. Oops. But Sharon got back up and she did it at a time when K-State was ready to start up another program in the county. Through JCPP, the volunteers host clinics and surgeries for pet owners who can't afford the costly bills of a traditional vet. If there's a pet in a home, let's keep it there. Don't dump your dogs and we are adamant about spay and neuter. We don't believe people should breed dogs until the shelters and the rescues are clear. When Sharon first moved to Jefferson County, she saw a problem that needed to be fixed. And even with life changing moments, she made sure to stick to her promise of making a change. You don't necessarily have to have special skills. You have to see a problem and the old adage about be the change, be the change. Those little kitties. Oh, very and cute. And the little puppies, they were so sweet. And look at her go. After a difficult time, she's Seriously? thrown herself into that oh my and goodness. making such a difference. Yes, and um, she was such an amazing, she's a great woman. So much fun. Now, the first vaccination clinic for JCPP was in May. And last week, when we actually met, that was the first time the organization had its surgery day. Now, if you have someone you think is an everything woman, please let us know. All you've got to do is go to KSNT.com and nominate them there. And keep in mind, we feature these stories once a month. Everything Woman, sponsored by Sharp Honda, Topeka ER and Hospital and Washburn University.